like I said, we've got a factory sealed booster case here. Uh, Chase, you, do you want any certain box or I always go front to back here and just go in order. But if you wanna, if you wanna go for the Brett Favre box or something for the first one, I forget if you're one of the locals that likes the Brett Favre pack and stuff. But you know, if you if you need me to bless it, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I I can take the camera off the thing and, and and show everyone that I'm dropping your box on the floor if if that's what you really want. But you know, that that's up to you. That's up to you. All right, so this would be the front end. So you want Brett Favre? So one, two, three, four. So this will be the inaugural box. And then if, if other people, when, if, when you come up, you're here. So Fraley, if you want to pick your box, one, two, three, five, or six, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, let's go front to back. You got to bless it. There aren't any cards in the set. <laughs> oh, boy. So, so you want the blessing? You want the blessing? So, yeah, for those that aren't familiar, um, at some point – um, in our store, somebody bought something and I think it was a pack or something and it got dropped on the floor accidentally and then blessings confirmed. So a pack got dropped on the floor accidentally and then it got opened and it had a really good card. So that became like, oh, if you drop it on the floor, the pack is blessed. It's luckier now. And it became a big thing where some people want us to like literally throw their booster pack like across the room or whatever. So, you know, it's. It's your choice. Blessing is confirmed. Now, I'm not going to go crazy here, so let me, let me just go like this here, and we're just, we're just going to gonna give it a solid drop here, okay? That, that was not a flat drop. So this box has been blessed. This box has been blessed for Chase 1451. Let's see, let's see if it works on the live stream version. You know, This could be a whole new thing where you know everyone that bu buys into these breaks is going to want me to bless their boxes for the live stream too now. Maybe it only works for in-store purchases. I don't know. This this is a test. We don't know. We don't know. And failure, you're gonna take number two box. You got it. Uh, let's see. Let me just go like this. So we've got freely 86. I don't know. Why I put a space there, but I'm sticking that to box two. Just so you know. I I can show you, but. Trust me, it's on box two. I just don't want to keep moving the camera constantly, but yeah, there's there's box two. Fraley, box two. We're good. We're good. All right. 20 after three. We should probably get started here, huh? Probably get started. Yes, hashtag, hashtag blessed for sure. All right. Here we go. I should have grabbed scissors or something, but we'll, we'll make do. We'll make do. So uh, current order is Chase. One, four, five, one times one box. Plus R, which means you will get the non-hollow rares. Oh my gosh, I, I need a scissors apparently. Oh yeah, and these boxes still give you the dandruff when you open them, which is fan flipping tastic. The only reason I should have, let's see, can I just use my scissors here and just puncture the side here and, you know, that'll do. Whew. Yeah, just dandruff everywhere, I tell you. I don't know why Pokemon cards had to start getting dandruff, but it's uh not a welcome change. Like... Pokemon boxes like, yeah, look at like it's just it's just powder everywhere. It's terrible, terrible. So yeah, that that that's one reason you should have me open your boxes for you is that you don't have to deal with the uh, white flaking off of the wrapper, because that is fantastic. Uh, do you still know who Brett Favre is? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. All right, here we go with our inaugural box break for Chase One Four Five One. Now, f I'll figure out the best way to go about this where I'm, like, you know, watching different things and stuff. But let's see. Where should I put the packs? I don't have a garbage next to me. We'll figure this out. Um, so I'm going to – white, green, it'll be spoiled. That's fine. Um, I don't know if I'll do the pack trick or what. I'll, I'll see how it flows here. I'll see how it flows. So Chata, Trekloak, Lampant. So no special Energy in there. Um – so reverse hollow Galarian Meowth, and I think, is that a rainbow? Or is that a colorless Pokemon coming up? I don't know. It is a full art Bolton V coming out the front gate here for Chase. So full art, as those know from the YouTube, there is the shiny shine that shines so bright. I won't say that every time because we should see multiple, several full arts throughout today. So, so you got the full art. You got the reverse, 
And then I'm just going to keep the other stuff off to the side here. I guess you'll still see it, but uh, stuff that you get will end up up there. It might get moved as I figure this out here, but you know. You know. All right. Let's see. I think I'm just going to throw the packs on the ground because, you know, why not? Another white code. So, yeah, like I said, I got uh, 15 white codes in our one box open I did for YouTube previously. So you got a Dan and a Twin Energy. Twin Energy is not bulk for sure. Let's see. So one uncommon for me. Commons, commons. Another ultra rare. This box is starting off fire. The, the blessing the blessing's looking good so far. I do packs go back in the case. It'll be harder to get the boxes out. And that's like only a small spot can put them in right now. Reverse full heal and nine tails V. And I will put all uh, hollow rare and better and all bosses orders reverse included in sleeves as we go for everyone because I care about condition very much. So I always do my best, whether it's for somebody else or for a store. When I open product, I always like only touch the edges of the cards. I do my best not to put like my thumb on the card. That's a personal pet peeve of mine. I don't know if it ever actually does anything to the cards negatively, but if, you know, someone's got extra oily fingers or something, then, you know, might leave some fingerprints or, you know, the white powder on everything. So, you know, you know. <laughs> All the four-legged. This will be a green code, right? We're due for green code. Yep, okay. We got green. We got green. It's like, they can't all be white codes. Can't do it. Can't do it. Phalanx. Phalanx is interesting to me. Phalanx interests me. All right, you got the capture energy. Hopefully you can get two of those. Then you'll get some good value there. Last I checked, those are over two bucks still. The highest price one. And I'm guessing, like, right now the trainers are a little bit on the cheaper side. Okay, so non that's the first non hollow rare. I, I keep that one. I'm like, wait, non hollow rare. Oh, no, you you got the rares too. That will go there? I don't know. We'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Thanks, Dapper. Thank you, thank you. And, yeah, y you're a mod, so it th that, that's right. That's your job. Thanks for doing your job. <laughs> but regardless, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate it very much. I got that fighting. Do uh, Two capture energy already? Wow. Yeah, as I showed in the example, the box I opened previously had only one capture energy in it. So, yeah, so far. So far, so good for you, Chase. So far, so good for you. And I was saying on uh, Twitter and stuff, too, like, I'm really looking forward to this. Because normally for the store, like I said, we do 10 case openings. And usually I don't even do many of the openings myself for those. Just staff and, like, volunteers come and do it. Because when you open 10 cases, like, it, the, the fun... It, it, it drops off fast. It drops off fast. But now I'm moving for other people, so, like, I can be excited for other people's pulls. And, like, I'm going to have more fun pulling, you know, a rainbow or full art boss's orders in this situation than I'm opening it for myself for the store, even though it's my store, you know? Like, it's just going to be more fun and more entertaining for me as well. That may sound crazy, but that is the honest truth. So, this is just, like, if this goes well, it's going to help bring, like, the joy of openings back to me, even though they're not my cards anymore. So, that is cool. So, we got... Galarian Cursula. I hate I hate the new the new Corsula. It, it's just a dead blob. Like it's weird. It's weird. Um <laughs> So rares, hollows, ultras. I, I like I like to store things as much as possible, you know. You know. Because yeah, you're getting the rares and the trainers, special energy. I keep the common uncommon Pokemon and basic energy. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I honestly don't remember being knighted. I'm not sure when it happened. Maybe it was when we were um, doing some, uh, some uh, what do you call it? Dual, not dual streams. Multi-streams. There we go. Maybe when we were multi-streaming I did it or something. I don't know. I don't remember when. I don't think it was like super, super long ago. But, you know. So, Curse Shovel and Tool Scrapper for you. A masquerade for me. And speaking of, there is the dead blob. Like, what is that? I mean, it's just depressing. It's just depressing, you know? I don't know. That's, like, my new least favorite Pokemon, I feel like. And thanks for the follow, 27, Dilmatic. Dilmatic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Toxel is just is cool. Like, I didn't realize I opened the first box that, like, there was a new Glare Mr. Mime and stuff, too. Because I have not gotten far enough in the video games yet. I just haven't. I just haven't. Uh, reverse and rare. And I'm sure these will get a little quicker as we go, unless people prefer. I kind of, like quote-unquote slow roll it a little bit uh and if we don't end up like selling out especially like you know i would like 
And this is obviously over an hour stream for sure. It'll probably be closer to two hours, if not longer, especially if we sell out. I figure four boxes per hour plus with a small talk in the middle at least. Um, oops, full heel train court. I'll, I'll get the groove. This is the first box. This is, you know, the, the beginning, whatever. So we're on a little bit of a cold spell now, but we came out the gates just spitting straight fire. So, you know, <laughs> learning what to do is part of developing content. True, true. All right, we're back in the groove. Back in the groove. What we got for you this time? We got the water. Galar mine. Nice. This card started at like five bucks, but it, it fell off hard. So I don't know if they'll stay down or not, but just with no events right now, the trainers are probably going to stay cheaper. And then once events start up again, I could see a lot of like 50 to dollar, 50 cent to one dollar cards spiking to like two, three, four bucks. So, you know, right now, it might not, the $15 upgrade might not look like the best value, but compared to what there will be later, it could be very good. But we got another ultra rare. Another ultra rare. Is this another Bolton? It is Bolton V. And I think you said you like Bolton, so hopefully you don't mind getting two different Boltons, a regular art and a full art. I mean, they're different, but the same. You know, same attacks and everything, but, you know. Hey, Jackie, how are you doing? So you got three ultras already and one hollow rare. Definitely a good start. A good start. <laughs> one doggy boy. The trans that you're pulling are very good. Yep. Yeah, I know which ones are, like, the best of the set. I just don't know what they'll be worth, you know, whenever we're allowed to do tournaments again, basically. <laughs> so, horror energy. I'm always never saying the word horror because it could come out, pronounce it just, just not quite right. It could sound, you know, not good. But, you know, it, it's a bit of a tongue twister. The dead boy. Palisand reverse. And Snorlax. The thick boy. The thick boy. Figure a scoop up net and all the special energy I should just upgrade. Yeah, like, if if you're a player, competitive player especially, I figure, you know, the trainer or special energy upgrade will be a popular one. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Co Cody said we should do 20 for him. I was more in the 10 to 12 range. We sell at 15 initially. And if, if no one does the upgrade, it might trend a little closer uh, to the 10. But if everyone does, I still probably won't go higher than 15. Just 15 seems seems plenty adequate to me. So, you know, especially with, like, the current values. Like I said, playing the Futures game, I think there's a lot of future value in the trainers and stuff in this set. Because, like, I definitely think, you know, a lot of the 75-cent card or so will be definitely worth more money once we're allowed to do events. For sure. For sure. You got another Ultra here, buddy. Another Ultra coming in, Clutch. No specials there. Vulpix. I love the Vulpix art. That is like the cutest Vulpix. It's adorable. It's adorable. And we've got... Da -da 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 colorless? What's colorless in this set? I don't know. Double! So not a great one. Not a great one. And I personally love lambs. I collected stuffed lambs as a child. So I mean, it's more of a ram or a goat kind of. Well, it's not a goat, but you know. It, it's... I'm not used to lambs with the big old horns anyway. So it's, it's, not, it's not my kind of lamb. But you know. You know. Are we going to find a boss's orders in this box is the real question. That's that's the real prize. That's the real prize, boss's orders. And uh, Eldegoss V is the main V you want to find, it would seem. Back-to-back -back packs with no trainers or special energy. And after each box, I'll probably count and see, like, how many white codes there are and how many trainers and energy there are just to, like, get a better, a better feel. Because I just have the one-box sample size right now just to make sure I'm, like, properly advertised and not making people think they're going to get 50 cards and they're going to get 45 cards on average or something. So, you know, you know. Three packs in a row. Where'd all the trainers go? Where'd they all go? Nine tails reverse and a colossal hollow rare with tar generator and flaming avalanche. How's the focus look overall? Should I? Because I'm mainly holding the cards down here. How's the focus where the cards are more like? If I bring them closer... They look really good, I think, based on what I see at least. They're down here. I mean, glare aside, I think. Like, maybe it could be a little bit more in focus. Because I can still adjust that, I think, while I'm streaming too. I think. Closer is much better. It's just hard for me to, like, keep the card super close too. Especially while I'm trying to, like, mass pile sort. Hold them close, they look better. I can try. I can try. So, fighting energy. Scoop up net. That's a win. That's a win. 
That's at least the third dead boy. Shatot reverse. And a greedent. He's cute. He, she, it. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> COVID-19 X Inc. I mean, for everything COVID's doing, you know, at least it can do is try to support small business and stuff as well, you know? It's, a, it's the least, least COVID can do at this point. It's the least it can do. Fire Energy Tool Scrapper. Dan the Man. Carkle. Phantom. Some stuff and some fluff. Psychic Clefairy, because Fairy, even though Fairy is in the name, no longer a thing in the card game, I'm afraid. And Galarian Perserker. Three packs left here in the first half of the box. Doesn't look terrible by any means. What's that Sobble doing? Sobble's not in, in the set, is he? Psychic Tranquil. The Horror Energy. So you got two Horror Energies already. I don't think you got the Speed Energy yet. But yeah, so far so good. I don't know why I set all but one down, but sure. Whatever. Seismitoad. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I just hate saying the card name for that one is all. <laughs> the card itself is fine. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to pronounce it just wrong every time. Two Galar Mines. You're getting all the, all the hot fire for trainers and stuff on the right side here. Special energies. Reverse Galar Mine as well. Very nice. And a Butterfree. Butterfree. We're getting, was it next set we got Butterfree and Butterfree VMAX? I forget what it does, but I saw someone say it might be the worst V or worst VMAX we've gotten so far. So, And a white code to finish off this half of the box. Wata. Phalanx. Nugget is so interesting to me. Like, I don't know how good of a car this necessarily is. Like, It's not great, but I just feel like this is going to cause so many judge call issues when we're allowed to play again. Because you can only activate it when you drew it from your deck at the beginning of your turn. So you're going to have to start, you know, drawing from deck and like, okay, I draw from deck, I set it down, I keep it separate. Oh, look, it's Nugget, I play it. Like, you have to make sure the card does not go to your hand or there's going to be so many headaches and so many fun, fun judge calls. And that's actually a reverse guy of mine. That goes in the reverse pile. You're still getting it. Don't worry. Just, you know, wrong pile. That's all. That's all. All right. It's a hollow. I don't know if it's a Pokemon yet. You want it to be a trainer. You want it to be a trainer. Nope. Gyarados. So we got the Gyarados. That's really cool artwork on that Gyarados, I feel. It's a sharp-looking Gyarados. Rackdown and Big Storm. 200. Discard any stadium in play. That doesn't seem terrible. I mean, it's it's a one-prize attacker that could do 200. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are bigger than 200 HP now, but that's still a nice amount of base damage, regardless of how many energy it takes. You know, it's a good number. It's a good number. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the box for now. Hopefully, hopefully that's okay. Hopefully that's okay. All right. Let's keep it rolling here, shall we? And left half going to start as hot as the right half. Hopefully, hopefully. Fire energy. Turf field stadium. Let's see. There will be an ADP version. ADP version of... What? Oh, for Gyarados? Zamazenta Reverse. All right. And Ultra Rare. Is that water? Nope, it's Rillaboom VMAX. There's our first VMAX. <laughs> what? Held a message. Hostility. <laughs> Automod is so interesting sometimes. You try hard is apparently hostility. <laughs> what? How is that hostility? Oh, well. It's whatever. Rillaboom VMAX. Rillaboom VMAX. All right. Uh, Chase, if you want to do me a favor and just message Zach and let him know to make sure he calls the store when he arrives. He just messaged saying he'd be here in like two minutes. I don't think he knows that like I'm live streaming and that I'm not going to be the one that fulfills his curbside pickup. I don't think. I don't think. But we got Mason and Patrick here right now, so somebody will take care of him as long as he knows how to make them aware that he's here. Turfield and Capacious Bucket. Galarian Yamask. And a Spirit Tomb. Roger, Roger. Thank you much. Thank you much. White Code. 
I still find the white codes you get in Sword and Shield. It's nice. More than 12 is, well, it's more than 12. Our first Milo. I know you want all the Milos. I know you want all the Milos. He's not nearly as cool as my cat Milo, but, you know, you know. We got that Vika Volt. Powerful Storm and Thunder Jolt Beam. Thunder Jolt Beam. Vika Volt. That's the same upcam I tried using for some live openings at home, but there's just, like, no lighting at home. Oh, yeah, speaking of lighting, I was going to try those umbrella lights, wasn't I? Does the lighting seem okay overall? Because I don't... The umbrella lane doesn't, like, really do that much overall. Especially here at the store where I have, you know, the translucent lights or whatever above me already anyway. So it should be illuminated well enough. The lane should be fine. Another twin energy. I always got to do it one time. One time. We've got that <clears throat> Heliolisk. Just, just the once. Just the once. Dewblade. Mimer. Growlithe Reverse. And Galarian Runarigus? Runarigus? Am I, am I saying that right? I have no idea. Spreading Spite and Mad Hammer. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. That was a lot of vibration my phone just did. I don't know why. I'll have to take a quick peek at my phone uh, once this box is done. And, uh, you know, peek if there's any additional orders that came through and such as well. Metacham! There's our first speed energy. Well, Chase's first speed energy, I should say. Back-to-back -back Scythers. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It's rhyme time. Uh, I think I made a lot of people rage leave the stream with that Helios impersonation. I think I dropped like three to five viewers on that. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. <laughs> Durant. Oliana, our first one of those. Chase's first one of those. The Clay Bunnelby. They're so cute. That is an adorable Clay Bunnelby. And the Vulpix. Back-to-back -back cuties. For sure. Garboder Reverse. What's Garboder do this time again? Once you return, if a stadium is in play, you may lick your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. And does not need to be active to uh, have that happen. And a Mandibuzz. Bone Rush and Blindside. Right, let's, let's find a boss's orders here, shall we? White coat. Right, that's a start. That's a start. Can we find the boss's orders? I think that's an ultra rare. I think I see like a black line on the edge. This could be good. This could be good. Training court. What do we have in store this time? We got electrode reverse. And. Ooh. This is something shiny. This is something shiny. Number 176. Elder Goss V full art. Let's go, Chase. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. It's not quite as good as a full art of Rainbow Boss's orders, but it's one of the next best things you can get right there. Elder Goss V full art. I'll say it again because it's worth it. The shiny shine that shines so bright, and I bet that's Zach calling. It's just a wireless caller. I, I can't I can't confirm or deny if it was. But hopefully once he gets home, he can uh, watch the stream while he opens his box at home, too. Did you tweet this out? Um, I tweeted prior to going live. I don't think I tweeted right before I went live, though. I, I can do some of that after this box as well. Milo! Like, I've been tweeting and promoting it, like, for the last 24 to 48 hours, trying to get people aware and, like, you know, buying in before the stream actually happens. Because I didn't want to start the stream unless I had at least three pre-sold or whatever you want to say. Um, both. <laughs> like, I still use at the Poke Capital, and then the stores is at the Game Capital, basically. So, like, I I do all my tweeting from the Poke Capital, but, like, all the store social media and, like, reposts that are cross-posted between Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, that's all on at the Game Capital. But... My, like, quote-unquote personal Twitter um, is still at the Poke Capital. So, you know. <laughs> you follow both? Perfect. Is, is that is that the, what's his name? Drago, Dragapult? I think that's Dragapult. Nope, I, I lied. Th there was, like, a purple hue. So, you know, I thought, I thought it was the Dragapult, which is, you know, very good, too. But, you know, what's very upsetting to me is that they have a Milotic in this set. But there's no stinking Phoebus. How is there no Phoebus? Let me let me see some Phoebus there, Dapper. And uh, I don't think there are subscribers here right now, but 
and uh, exclamation point Phoebus if you don't know why Phoebus is such a big deal. It's, it's quite the meme for me. Exclamation point Phoebus if you want to link to the YouTube video where Phoebus becomes a legend, essentially. Or where I become a legend for that matter. I don't know. Depends how you look at it. Depends how you look at it. But yes, there's the Phoebus. There's the superior fish to all of the other fish in the sea. Let me tell you. Like, once I started doing, like, the triple tag teams, I was like, all right, they should do a tag team where it's got the 30 hit point fish. Give me Phoebus, give me Magikarp, and give me um, um, Wishy Washy. The three 30 hit point fish. Give me those on a three Pokemon triple tag team with 300 HP for no good reason. That just does something interesting, you know? That that'd been fun. That'd been fun. We got the reverse speed energy. Solid. And Arcanine. So yeah, my, my favorite Pokemon are Psyduck, which got an Ultra Rare, and Jigglypuff, which got an Ultra Rare. So, you know, I've been happy with the Ultra Rares. And uh, the odds of Phoebus ever getting any kind of Ultra Rare treatment is quite slim. Especially not being a Gen 1 Pokemon, but you never know. You never know. But this is a white code. Capacious Bucket. Can we find the boss's orders? Ice Q. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting. I, I still got to tell the wifey that there's a new penguin Pokemon. It's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of wonky. But um, it's a penguin. And she loves penguins. So, you know, it's, it's still something. It's not an Ultra Rare. It's not a trainer. It's Flapple. Such, a Applin is such a weird Pokemon to me. But, you know, Spock's a little busted, not going to lie. That's fine. Like I said, the pull rates on Sword and Shield is really good. So, and these sets are more fun to open to me because you get more shiny goodness. Like, rather it's mine or yours or whoever's next in queue. Fraley or Steven or Zachariah or Dapper or you again, Chase. You know, that th these, are, these are fun. These are fun. All right, another white code. Another white code. I'm going to cheat. Oh, uh, can, can you tell there's like silver so that, that's what I mean could be a rainbow could be a rainbow or at least a full art i think i think whoo the bustedness continues burning scarf skyla i still don't know why skyla got a reprint because she's not in sword and shield i've had that confirmed to me so like if they want to reprint the card like what it does i still don't know why they like we made skyla not give the same effect to a different trainer since they did that with you know Professor Sycamore and Juniper and stuff, where they'll stay in rotation now moving forward with Professor's Research, but I don't know. It's an it's an intriguing reprint to me. All right, what are we going to do here? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We got Reverse Coughing. Can it be like a full order Rainbow Boss's Orders? That'd be nuts. That'd be nuts. 192 of 192, so that's going to be a full art trainer. It is a full art trainer. What's last in line? Let's see. Um, but, well, but it's not boss's orders. That's a B. There's what? Oliana. There's Milo. Milo's before Oliana. There's... I don't know. What is it? What is it? It is Sonia full art. Is that the third full art of this box? Dane. Dane. Yes, Dane is right. This Mel Gamer D. 2K18. I can't. I can't read. That's okay, though. It's okay. Full art Sonia. Nice. Doesn't seem like it's, like, the best, best trainer, but it's better than bulk as far as the normal card goes. And, you know, anytime you get a full art chick in Pokemon, like, that, that's always a plus. That's always a plus. As they call it in at least some other card games, the waifu tax, if you will. So, very nice. Clef will buy that from him. Totally, totally. Fire energy. Pelipper. There's that nug again. Carpety carp carp. That should be a Phoebus. Capacious bucket reverse. And Electivire. Five packs to go. Five packs to go. Probably get at least one more white code still, if not two. If not two. Another speed energy. Including reverse, I think you got three speed energies. Just gonna let that uh that guy go away. Palpitoad and scissor. Let's see. Yeah, how how we doing here? We've got we're at five hollows. I had six in my box, quote unquote, my box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ultras already. So you're at 13 white codes so far, which means you're getting at least 49 cards from the shiny slot. Which means if you get the same number of foils as I got in my box, there's still two white codes to come. Not here, though. Not here, though. 
So still possibly two more shots at a boss's orders. Yeah, if you got boss's orders, this box is complete. That might be your first regular Sonya. Might be the first regular Sonya. I'm pretty sure. Why? Why is there an Apple Pokemon? Just why? Ludicolo. Love the Ludicolo. Love him. Love him, love him, love him. White code. Well, if you, if you haven't noticed, like, all these codes are basically damage, which it's fine. Codes don't have to be near mint or anything, but I just noticed, like, it's not from dropping the box either. It's not from that, but, you know. But, yeah, the, the blessing, I think, may have worked. <laughs> Applin is the best. It's the worm. Oh? Have I not looked at that correctly? <laughs> is it – so it – it's a worm that like lives in an apple. Ooh, it's another ultra. It's another ultra rare. Reverse Oleana and Melamar V. That's fine. You gotta get you gotta get some low end ones too. Gotta get some lower end ones too. I think I got Malamar in the booster box and the ETP that I opened, I think. So Malamar loves me so far. Malamar loves me so far. Applin. Oh, it's the Apple Core Pokemon. So, you know, I don't know. Whatever that means. <laughs> Two packs to go for Chase's first box here. I guess that order queue is a little hard to read. I'll probably have to figure out how to get a background or something. Sandy Noakes, thanks for the follow. Four, I can count to four. It's not too big of a number. Brett Favre. Got a Brett Favre every pack. Hatena Reverse and Sigilith. All right, Chase, last pack, last chance for glory. Are you going to finish with 14 or 15 white codes? Let's see. 14. But I don't think there's any complaints. This, this turned out plenty solid, I think. I do believe. Karkle, Hatrum, Pokeball. Is that your only Pokeball? It might be. You're going to have a hard time catching more Pokemon. I'm sorry. Luxury Reverse Rare and Zamazenta. No Zashin in the box. So, let's see. How many uncommons we got here? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So you got two less than I got in my box, but you got what matters. You got two capture energy. You got two twin energy. You got two horror energy, two speed. Plus you got a reverse speed energy, if I'm right. Just the one screw of net, but two gather mines. So those are the ones I think matter the most in this set. So yeah, you get between one and two of each card for the uncommons, it seems. And you got two of almost everything that matters. If you got one more scoop up net, you basically got the, the perfect potential pulls for the uncommons there. Tool Scrapper is their card that's good. It's a reprint though, so like I don't know if it will go up anytime soon, but it's hard to say. It's hard to say. We got to make Jordan Love a pack. Oh, geez. Thank God the reprint Pokeball. So, 34 there. Uh, this should be, what, 22? Because you got... Just five hollow rares. So you had five chances out of the 17 possible hollows to find the boss's orders. Five. And then ultra rares, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ultra rares. One being a VMAX, three being full arts. You didn't get any secret rare, but three full arts and a VMAX is still pretty darn good. So. You, it's just, you still could have done better. I wouldn't call this a god box by any means, but if that Sonya was a boss's orders instead, then you're looking all really good. Uh, exclamation point break uh, for ordering information. Exclamation point break. So uh, you get all those, all those, all those, all those. Bada boom, bada boom. And... Chase, one, four, five, one, 